and minus one. So this is gonna be a one. Let's put an underline font group and underline, and this will be in minus one without the colon. I'm gonna pull this to the outside, 310 minus one. Hold on a second. Equals 310 minus the one. And so let's indent this home tab alignment indent and then indent and then this will be the R or the correlation and so this is going to be of course division now because now we have this whole top bit and now we have this this bottom part the numerator and the denominator so now this is going to be equal to the 309 divided by the 309 which comes out to one if we look at the decimals home tab number it should be exactly one so just a quick recap here, we basically to reformat this formula, we're summing up the z-scores. So we took the z-scores of x, the z-scores of y for each data point here. We multiplied them together. Then we summed up all of the multiplied together z-scores, giving us in essence the numerator. Then we got to the denominator, which is n or the count of the data, which we did with this count formula. You could have counted any of these columns we're not summing up the data here. We're just counting how many rows there are. And you'll recall when we first spit out the data set, we made uh, 310 uh, as our JIT random number generator. That's how many numbers we made. And then we subtract one and minus one. That gives us the 309. And if we divide the numerator by the denominator, we get to one. All right, let's underline this. Now there's some neat stuff in Excel that can kind of analyze this data faster for us. It's often useful to do this kind of process because you can then see the z-scores and the relationships uh, with the z-scores. But let's try it this way now. I'm gonna make a skinny D over here, skinny AD. And then let's let's say this is gonna be uh, my, my uh, automatic calculation. So I'm gonna go to the data tab we're gonna to go to this analysis again and go into the data analysis. We showed how to turn this on in the prior presentation. This time I wanna to go to the correlation. That's what we're looking at, correlation here, right? Let's go into that in the analysis. I'm gonna find my data set. Now I have to have my data next to each other. So I'm gonna select this item here. And so I'm gonna pick my data. I have, to, I have to pick my data so it's next to each other here. So. I'll start with the inches and the feet of our original data set that we created, control shift down and then control backspace. And there's our data set. So I'm gonna say, okay. And then columns, I want to, in columns, I did include the labels. That's what this is doing here. So I included the labels. So I wanna make sure to check that off. And then the, the output range, I'm gonna change this to an output range and the place I wanna put it is I'll just say right there in A uh, E one. Let's say okay, and then it spits this little worksheet out for us nice and neatly. So I can then highlight this. I like to make this my format header format again. Font group black white. We can round. We can round this home tab alignment. Let's wrap this, and so there we have it. And so now this this shows us nice and quickly the the uh, correlation right so here's the, what we're really looking at so this is this box what this is looking at here this number one here uh, is looking at the feet and the inches correlation so that's the one that we're kind of looking at and it's got a one and that's a perfect correlation so when we're looking at these correlations the one uh, would be the the perfectly correlated that's why we have a straight line now, just to, just to note this kind of data generator, also, uh, let's just play with another one that we, that we might commonly use that will spit out some of the calculations we've looked at in the past, which would be into the data. Let's go into the analysis and data analysis. And this time, let's look at the uh, descriptive statistics one, just to get uh, familiar with that. So I'm gonna put the input range. I'm gonna go back on over again, I'm looking at the two uh, original columns that we had. So I'll pick up these two columns, control shift down, control backspace, and then grouped by column. I'm gonna include the labels again because we had the labels up top. And then the output range I wanna put it in is gonna be, let's put it over here now. We'll put it right there, boom. 
And then down here, I want to have the summary statistics. That's what I'm really looking for. Later on, you might have these confidence level for the mean. We might talk about that later, 95. We'll keep that as the confident level. We'll talk more about that possibly in a future presentation, but we'll say, okay. And then it gives us our, our data. So this should give us some of that familiar data that we've we've been working with. And and you could see, you know, the mean, the mean, the, the standard error, which you know might not always be applicable depending on the type of data, the median, the mode, the standard deviation, the sample variance, the uh, kurtosis. We might.